In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to get custom songs and mods in Beat Saber in the newest, easiest way possible. All you will need for this tutorial is a copy of Beat Saber on your Quest 2, a PC or laptop, and you will also need to have SideQuest installed on your PC. If you don't already have SideQuest, I have a tutorial which I'll link in the description, and I would recommend watching that one first and then coming back to this one. It would also be very helpful to join the Beat Saber modding community Discord as any questions you have related to this modding process will likely be answered there. Before you get to modding, though, you first need to downgrade the game. This is because different versions of Beat Saber are compatible with different mods, and you can go to this link to see which mods are compatible with which versions of the game, which I will also put in the description. The most popular mods are Noodle Extensions and Chroma, as they can allow you to download maps with some incredible effects and colors that would not be available in the base game. And luckily for us, these two mods are compatible with the newest version of Beat Saber, which is version 1.24.0 as of the making of this video. In order to know what version of Beat Saber you're currently on, just go into the game, look down, and the right shoe print should say what version it is. The first step in the modding process is to go to SideQuest and search for two apps. The first one is called Quest App Version Switcher, and this will just allow you to change what version of Beat Saber you're on in case you want to try different mods that are compatible with different versions. The second app you want to get is called BMBF, and this is what's going to allow you to get custom songs and mods into the game. Once both of these apps have finished downloading to your headset, you will not need your PC for the rest of this tutorial. Once you have decided on which version of the game has the best mods for you, just turn on your Oculus, open up the menu, and go to the Unknown Sources folder. Look for Quest App Version Switcher in there and open it up. Once you're in here, you need to go down to the Tools and Options tab and log into your Oculus account. This is just so it can verify that you own Beat Saber in order to prevent piracy. After that, it's going to ask you to create a password for Quest App Version Switcher. Just make one and you'll be good to go. Once you're in, just go to the Downgrade tab and make sure the selected headset is on Quest slash Quest 2. Scroll down till you found Beat Saber and then click Details, which should be to the left of it. Go underneath the blue word Connected and click on the Versions tab, and then scroll down until you found the version of Beat Saber you'd like to install. When you hit Download, it's going to ask for the Quest App version switcher password you just created. Just type that in. Just click Start Download and go to the Download Progress tab to see how far it's come along. It may take a few minutes, but once the download is finished, go to the Backup tab, click Change app at the top and then scroll down until you found one called com.beatgames.beatsaber and click on it. It will take you back here and this is where you can see all the versions that you've downloaded. Just click the one that you want and press restore backup underneath. From here it will ask you to install. Just press the install button and it will start downloading the version of Beat Saber that you wanted. Once the installation is complete, go back to the unknown sources folder on your home menu and scroll down until you found BMBF. It's just going to tell you what the mod is going to do. You can click continue and and then hit uninstall Beat Saber. If a pop-up comes up asking if you want to uninstall the game, just click OK. Then it will take you to this tab. You just need to click Patch Beat Saber, and then the patching process will begin. This is just going to download the core mods that are available for your version of the game. This might take a few minutes. Just be patient and let it do its thing. Once this is done, it will ask you to install modded Beat Saber. If you press the button but you don't have unknown sources enabled, you may be prompted to allow unknown sources, and then you will be directed to the settings page where you can turn the option on. Once you have unknown sources enabled, just go down and click Install Modded Beat Saber. Click the blue install button and wait for it to finish downloading. If a screen pops up that says package installer isn't responding, make sure to press wait and do not press close. Once the installation is complete, it will ask you to restore the app. Make sure you press close and not restore because restoring the app will just bring it back to its unmodded state. If you come to a screen that looks like this, make sure to press done and not open as Beat Saber will not open from here. Now to get the modded version to fully work, just go to the top right and press sync to Beat Saber. Now your game will have all of the core mods like custom songs, but a lot of maps actually require different mods like Noodle Extensions and Chroma. To get these, go to the browser tab and click choose website and then click on Google. Now go to the search bar and type in Computer Elite with no spaces and no uppercase letters. If you typed it correctly, it should be the first link at the top. Once you're in here, go down to where it says Quest Beat Saber Mod Versions and select the version of the game that you want to get mods for. In my case, I'm on version 1.24.0 and I'm looking for Noodle Extensions and Chroma. Once you've found the mod you want, just click the download button and it should say that it's downloading at the top. Now you can go to the search bar again and type in any other mods you want and once you found those, it's just the same thing. Click download and it should say that the mod install is queued. After you've waited a minute for your mods to finish installing, press sync to Beat Saber and this will install them directly 
to your game. Now you can leave BMBF and go back to your apps. Once you click on Beat Saber, it'll ask you to allow permissions, and from there you just need to click allow. It will also ask you to restore the app. Make absolutely sure that you do not press restore and instead press open. It may ask you to restore the game again, just press open. Unfortunately, it's going to ask you to restore the app every time you open it now, but at least the experience that modding the game offers is well worth it. The modding process has been done correctly if there's a notice board to your right and a list of mods to your left. If you downloaded any mods that have their own custom settings, you can just click on them in the mods menu and then you can change their settings from there. To get other songs, make sure to go to the mods menu and press more songs. And here there will be a search bar where you can practically search for any song you can think of and there is probably a beat map for it. If you want a song, just press download and it should pop up in your library. And you can also filter your search to find songs that have noodle extensions and chroma. In my case I filtered it for both of those and then searched Mario and I got this really cool map that turns into a Mario level. And congratulations you have now modded Beat Saber successfully and you can go back and add more mods whenever you want. If you found this tutorial helpful make sure to tell me in the comments below and if you have any questions again just go to the Beat Saber modding community discord. You don't have to but I would be thankful if you subscribed and if you already are subscribed please turn on notifications so you never miss a video. This is Justin from Alternate Reality signing off for now. See ya. Yeah.